got out drafted the kanka would have been perfect because he's a tanky frontliner who actually gets some burst and now they go for a storm uh not a lot of catch for the storm but a lot of damage to uh, to kill him once he that you uh, play against the viper is the viper can go for you because the trees do a lot of damage to him but you also have better damage and you're able to uh, to last it more than the viper himself speaking about last hitting fortune so he gets the kill okay it does have more damage I guess though, SC now looking like he's in a lot of trouble. This time will connect with the minus armor. Okay, he's more than that. Fortin so comes over. He's gonna start taking the armor away from the Razor, but he just gets slapped without any points in the Bristleback. He's aware just how susceptible to die. Not ideal. Let's put it that way. Now they're gonna go for Namo Putaya. They can pull him back, but they're waiting so that he doesn't TP out from there. Saez is trying to keep them away, but now a beautiful dispose there onto the two of them. He doesn't even look at Namo Putaya, and then he's going for Saez. Saez will most definitely fall. The only question is, will the Treants get revenge for their fallen father. They're going towards the Viper. Talked about the mid lane. Avatar mode tossed back. The tower will be doing some damage. But as we know, Storm Spirit really strong in terms of armor. Six armor already. He'll be fine. Talking about armor. Fortune Soul has none. And he won't have his life. Be careful without the uh, few strange jumps. Avalanche is there. Toss on the creep. And Avatar mode will be fine because of it. Gonna get pulled in now. Mikhail taking a lot of damage. Avatar mode might get the kill. The sticks are there. The fairy fire too. And Mikhail Kyle will be fine. Have a toss combo in seven seconds until that happens. The uh, storm will be safe and tiny. Kyle. Parts, it's power, power treads are there. It's gonna go into the storm. They toss him back. The stun will connect. Can they finish him off? Not really. Avatar mode will be fine. Sleeps to the side. He didn't get the sidekick, so he'll be able to heal himself up a little bit. Mikhail dropping low, but he is a very tanky boy. He won't have spells for another seven seconds. In the end, he does drop down. Lion X will have a stun in just a few. He drops it down onto the Marcy, but he dies in the process. Marcy will die to the acid spray. But still, it's gonna be it. So what do you do if you're BBH right now? We're gonna have to be looking towards this, uh, towards this tiny to make some plays. Avatar mode, though, he's not afraid at all. He's gonna be jumping in. Where's the room? Did, uh, did go towards the tiny? No, actually, it's on the bottom lane. The invis quite nicely. He gets even healed by the heal troll priest. Invisibility. Will be uh, more heal amp, 15%. That's actually quite a lot. The stun on the alchemist. He's gonna stun himself and just secure that he will stay in place until Avatar mode is there to claim his life. So will come over and avatar mode doesn't want to deal with those he knows how strong lightning can be he's not gonna be uh fighting the uh the razor right now avatar mode. there's a big chance that you're gonna die to the magical damage but for now and you doesn't feel the same might get dove the uh, unstable concoction, it's being brewed, and it's gonna be thrown out towards the Viper. The damage is gonna be quite nice. This use is coming over, though. I'm gonna show you how you use lightning, and I'm gonna do it. Your nature's prophet is gonna go burn down all of the trees. And now, look at Saez, he's caught as well. And then the Marcy is not gonna be able to jump over, but maybe with some help. Here comes the uh, toss there from the Mud Golem, and they brought the Tiny back. He does have the toss still. Epping going with the uh, going with the Unleash, and Mikhail should drop. Just doesn't have the armor necessary to live through supports. This is a clear-cut show of what, it ha what happens when you lose the lanes heavily. Every single position, position is winning. Lion X, he stuns himself. Avatar mode went for a TP, but he decides he's not going to be able to finish it up. SC does have a mech, keeping himself alive for just a little bit. The Wild Wing Ripper, Hurricane, doesn't come out in time to save his buddy. Now Alchemist will be going in with a stun, and you is stunned up, but it won't really matter much. They found the Zeus without the Heavenly Jump. We'll send you to Heavens anyway. Saez is dropping down, and he will fall now. Here comes the Nature's Prophet. There's going to be brawling over and over again, but Andrew is still alive. She got a lot of damage. Mikhail is dropping low, but Andrew will fall before that happens. Mikhail, he is dying, he is dying, and he will die with that bank jumping on him. He still has the sidekick, but there is no one to use the sidekick on, so you're gonna have to fight yourself. Will he be stunned by Lion X? Yes, he will, and the stun will end his life, but now Fortune Soul is in as well. The fight is never ending until Fortune Soul comes over. Looking too healthy in terms of farm, but at some point the Grievals Greed will come out. 
Uh, bank diving. He doesn't have the rebound right now. And you getting jumped on. He will use the uh, Viper Strike on the Zeus. But the Zeus will easily get out. Or will he with Avatar Mode coming over? Andrew is still alive. He's healing up. He's giving damage to the Razor. But the Razor cannot attack any longer. And Amo Putaya just jumps in to all of the poison. Now Mikhail, can he get himself out? He's going to be tossed back. Even moving mountains. The Marcy is capable of that. That is just how strong she is. And Neon is strong enough to, give, to get four here as well. So that's pretty much a item you're not going to have much use off alchemist stunning the uh storm spirit it's gonna be quite hard it's very hard to disjoin the stun but you can get yourself far enough away science is ready might go for nama putaya on the other part of the map science is dead he jumped away with the heavenly jump but he's gonna be brought back immediately the stun from the alchemist is gonna go there on avatar mode but actually lion x will stun himself yet again this uh alchemist soger is really starting to uh Second guess his uh, partnership with the Alchemist because it's definitely not working out every single time. He's the one on the receiving end of the stun and it's now the uh, sand from the beach. Now, BBH, they know that the Roche is happening. Lion X will throw out the stun. There's going to be a double man stun there. The Roche will fall. Is anyone going to be able to get the Aegis? No, it's just standing there on the ground. Immortality for anyone who wants to pick it up. And Fortress Soul says it is mine. Now, Solotic, let's see if you're immortal. Oh, guess not. Lion X going for the Marcy. Leave my girl alone. And Fortress Soul will be getting another one. Where's the tiny? Nowhere to be found. Mikael will just be running towards the bottom lane to farm. Play that they can always rely. On Tiny going for a BKB, but a smoke from Neon. They're going for a play. Stun from Lion X. Is he gonna be able to throw it out? They go for Marcy. Marcy's taking some damage, and Marcy will most definitely go down. Hey, bang. He's gonna start. He's gonna start the attack as the stakes jumps out. The Marcy lives. No, you can't even get one kill. It's a disaster. Now the chase is on. I'm put I will get the TP out. The stomp game, but it's looking like the possible win is sleeping, slipping out of their hands as we speak. This time from Lion X. He's gonna use it on himself. Please kill me. I don't want to live in this world. This is what he meant by making this kind of a play, and he'll be put back. Yes, you can die even closer to us. It is not a problem. He comes looking like these, there's a path for BBH. The one thing they can do is split push and go for pickups. That is it. No, the storm jumps in. He's not the one with the Aegis. He's looking very much dead, and the storm will die with the concoction connecting. That's gonna be a really big kill. Actually, any kill is big considering how far behind you are and Fortress All going forward. Now the storm buys back you killed me well now you are the ones that will die the silence of the nature's prophet he's most likely going to be going down actually the unstable concoction he dodges it's beautifully done he leaves nama putea to live no he doesn't he just leaves him remnant do you remember me do you remember this beautiful face where you where you bruised it just a second ago and avatar mode he most definitely did not like it while he was bruising the ones for now will stay defended and neon esports are approaching this with caution the caution will stop. They don't care about it any longer. Toss back on the bristle back. He uses the BKB and yes, this is where I was supposed to be. I was hoping you would do that because I just couldn't get on top of you. But you made sure that I will. I might not have my own blink dagger, but I have your tiny to bring me into your ranks. As he did, he smashed all of their heads in and now he smashed their face. They'll call GG, but Fortune Soul says, wait, I need to kill you first. An ultra kill for Avatar mode. He's hoping for a rampage. Give me one. Give me the fifth kill, but Fortress Soul is going to be the one doing the damage, killing the hero. And now Avatar Mode is going to be very mad at Fortress Soul. So BBH, at least they did manage to uh, initiate a fight us. between teammates because Avatar Mode is reserved. BBH, what is it going to be? Hey, they go for the Pango. I actually forgot about the Pango. We haven't seen him for quite some time. It is decent. It is a hero that uh, protects you from the Lycan a bit. And you... Be a bit careful, he will be slowed down. The bottom lane, Mikael. Okay, that's not a way to start off the game. The puck doesn't get the kill, but Fortune Soul will. Is uh, going considering that, you know, he hasn't had the uh, easiest of the start, but now we'll get a few of the nice here. Uh, full wave getting uh, taken away from the. Uh, from the Oh, just a second before that, Fortress Soul, he's dead. He did have the statistic charges, not gonna be uh, helping him given that he doesn't use them. Top lane, the Weaver. Getting gone on by the snowball. The better we can see it, you know, Puck has more CS, but those are definitely from the uh, side camps. Yep, we can look from the denies that the DK is doing better, but Avatar mode is keeping himself in it, so he'll be more than happy. Meanwhile, bottom lane, SC drops, with his arm on the Razor, he's still going forward. He wants size dead, he might be able to get it. A few more hits are gonna do the trick, and there it is. Fortune Soul gets the kill. Meanwhile, Abang dies in the top lane, so pretty much a bloodbath. 
is trying to uh, save this tower as much as he can, but Mikael there is putting his body in front. The Tusk Illusions are coming. He did secure it there for himself. Now going for the DK. They're gonna bring in the Marcy. They could break the coil if they want to, and he will. The DK taking a lot of damage, and now with the Psychic, they're gonna try to go for the DK, but the fuck will die first. Mikael dropping low. They need more hits, but he is able to fly away. And now the return kills there. Gonna be insane here for BBH. They're how their heroes could be a problem if you start snowballing, you might just get in kill, be getting kill after kill. They can't do it. Now going for the Razor with the Swan Buckle Rolling Thunder being used. It's gonna go through both of them. Fortune Soul is looking like he's in trouble. No! Come back into the Rolling Thunder, please! I want him to crush you. I want him to run over you. And Marcy, no one to rebound off of, will be going down. So Lodic cuts her down. Someone else if need be. But this uh, CM needs to be very careful with the, with the shapeshift. She will definitely get eaten by wolves. Little Blue Riding Hood. We all know how the story ends. Fortune Soul. Has 20 stick charges. He's been slowed down. He won't get a chance to use them again. We're seeing him die with 21 charges. But he's not gonna be battle ready for quite some time. And you will be caught. Or will be it be the other way around. And Lion X will die there. And you with the creeps will be getting the kill. The Hungry Wolves will be eating the little blue riding hood. Bottom lane, now Solotic in some trouble, Swan Buckle to the side, immediately goes for a TP out without any of the stuns, Solotic will be fine, he doesn't even have resources, so it was really good for him to be able to get himself away. And you though, coming towards the mid lane, we talked about BBH, they want to fight all the time, and now with the snowball going for the Skyrath page, they want him dead, they'll get the silence onto the puck, no, they silence the Tusk, the puck will be fine. Size will be eaten by wolves, but Puck will die in the process. And you will be getting himself away. And Lion X dropping the freezing field there will make sure that the wolves can't go uh, forward any longer. These aren't the wolves of Ice Track, so they can't really. Uh, first Blood he has three kills to his name, but then again, he does have three deaths as well. Speaking about deaths, they're gonna be going on to the Puck. Where's the silence? There it is. But the snowball saved. The Puck will survive, at least for now. The snowball will be there. Just be protected, but the Swashbuckle will finish them off. Bang, bang. Beautiful shards. His spell usage was on point, but it doesn't matter when you're weaker. You do everything right, and you still lose your life. And now the DK going for the Marcy. The slows are gonna be there. The damage more than enough. And Lion Silence of the Puck will prevent him from doing anything. Beautiful shards, though. Bang has really been on point. They're gonna drop down the missing third. The damage will be quite solid, but still a snowball save there. Now it's gonna be Neon. it go forward. The Avatar mode taking some damage, but using the sticks, he'll be fine. Now he dodges some of the spells there with the Rolling Thunder Slotting, though, will be keeping his people alive. But then you going for the Dragon Knight. Wolves eating dragons. You very rarely see this, but these are some really big bad wolves. The snowball again being used, and it's gonna be Weaver dead. The last one left alive is gonna be Slotting trying to do the damage. He doesn't have any more spells. The shards, you will be there. In for their Tusk to come back and for the Lycan to be able to turn into his true form. Release the beast from from within. Solotic, really? They got the kill on Fortune Soul? That's a big one now. The Mystic Flare will get dropped down. And as soon as the CM in uh, range, but... Yeah, I bang now, he finally places another one. The shards don't connect, but they will go for the shapeshift. Immediately smoke being used. I think they heard the roar from this Lycan. He's gonna howl. Ooh, and Saez will die. And it seems like Solonic will fall as well with the uppercut punch being there. And he is dead. They're looking towards Lion X. Yeah, almost. You're almost gonna be getting out. That's a triple kill for Enyu yet again. Mikhail trying to go for a TP out, but you will not go anywhere. Return to us and give an ultra kill to our wolf. Fortune Soul says no. We'll go for a smoke. They know their lineup is all about fighting. They just need the right initiation. Abang though in a really good position there. They're gonna get a beautiful dispose. Puck goes in with the science and a beautiful coil. Pango can't get out. He's gonna go with the roll up and then the rolling thunder will be used. The task will die. And that's a one for zero. And yes, seeking Puck going in. They're gonna start taking damage from Solana. And he'll be pushed back, rolling away. He's not gonna get caught. That seed though goes onto the Crystal Maiden. He immediately gets out, and Lion X will fall. Nothing that anyone can do there to prevent his destiny, which was hard. They still want to fight again. They don't have the Rolling Thunder though. The silence onto the uh, Weaver is being caught. Later being used. He immediately turns back time, goes to the side. And you, he's quite hungry. He's gonna get frozen. But the uh, poor Dragonite gets caught as well. Doesn't have the BKB just yet. Fortune Soul uses his, and the Plasma Field connects on anyone. It means that he's gonna continue. To chase, doesn't get the Zarm Ties looking dead. Oh, Mystic Flare, he's gonna take Fortune Soul down once, but he's still gonna die. And Lion X will be next again. A little girl in the woods, surrounded by wolves. Rolling Thunder being used, but there's gonna be no follow up. Namo Putaya, he doesn't have the ulti any longer. If he gets caught, he's gonna be in so much trouble. And there it is, the coal gets dropped. Solotic trying to make something happen. He's gonna be steering the wheel of this. Uh 
on this Rolling Thunder quite nicely, but it is not gonna change the fact that Neon Esports win another fight convincingly with bringing down five heroes, losing none in the process, and it will be enough for BBH to accept defeat. They just were not on par with Neon today, and they're gonna be losing two games in a row without much.